All right, we're here with David Silverman from Bioware. Hello. And I got a couple questions for you. I saw the trailer, and I saw that the Reapers are back. It's back. What else can we expect to be fighting? Well, so Mass Effect 3 is kind of, it's the main event. Everything's been leading up to this moment. So for fans of the series, they're kind of waiting for this epic pay payoff, you know, all their questions that we get, you know, we don't answer the questions. But I will tell you right now, all the things they expect to see, all those payoffs, they'll get those. And for new people who have never heard of Mass Effect, this is a great entry point to jump in because of the fact that it's the beginning of the all-out galactic war. So for 50,000 years, every 50,000 years, this ancient alien race kind of hides in the shadows in the far reaches of space. And they wake up and they want to destroy all living things. And they finally woken up, they've come, they've taken Earth, and it's up yeah. to you as Commander Shepard to sort of rally the forces of the universe together, form alliances, gain technology, you know, capture facilities and whatnot so that you can launch this massive you know, counter assault to take back Earth and eliminate the Reapers once and for all. Now how about um, when you finish the game? Can you replay it and do different things to have a, a, a different outcome? Yeah, I mean, well, one of, the, one of the things that makes Mass Effect truly special is that it's a game where we call it immersive gameplay. So there are other games out there where you know, you'll play as a specific character and what you're, all you're playing is what the game designer's imagination of that character is, right? Well, with, what's unique about Mass Effect is, yes, you're playing as Commander Shepard, but you're playing as you, as Commander Shepard, which means that you get to make choices all throughout the game. And those choices that you make will have these consequences that makes the game unique to yourself. So if you want to get all the different possible outcomes and variations, you got to play this game, you know, dozens if not more times. We had a guy who came up to us and said he played Mass Effect 1 27 times and he wow. still hasn't seen everything. And you can expect that to be even more so in Mass Effect 3. Alright, can you tell us a little bit more about the weapons loadout? Is it going to be similar to Mass Effect 1 or Mass Effect 2 or is that a totally new weapons loadout? System? So one of the things that we're doing with Mass Effect 3 is we're creating kind of the perfect blend between deep RPG elements yeah. and that hard-hitting, high-octane, third-person action that you know and love. It's kind of that perfect blend of goodness like peanut butter and chocolate if you will. Yeah. So what you're going to see then is in terms of the RPG mechanics we've really kind of dived into not only the squad powers and you can now specifically choose between different powers and whatnot really kind of specialize each individual ability to the granular level where you can choose to say you know I want to have more of a damage radius around this ability yeah. or I have to choose to either have the damage radius or I can have a lower, a lesser cooldown rate. And it's like that for every power. In terms of the weapons, what we've done is we've created this weapon modding system. So all throughout the game and on the Normandy, you got these things called those weapon benches. You could throw your gun on a weapon bench, you could fully mod it, you can add in like different barrels, different scopes, you can change the material. And all these different things have these, you know, game benefits and you really really kind of shape the game to how you want to play it. That is awesome, man. What about what about the Omni Blade? Can you tell us a little bit about that? So I'm slightly partial to the Omni Blade. I think it's probably one of the coolest things in the game. Uh, really what we wanted to do is we wanted to give Commander Shepard a little bit more pizzazz because this is kind of, again, like I said, this is the main event. The stakes have never been higher. So Shepard needs to kind of up the ante a little bit. So he's been, you know, working with, you know, various scientists and whatnot on the Omni technology and they've come up with this Omni Blade. So now Shepard has a special melee attack where if he's close enough to a guy, he can reach back, this Omni Blade comes up and he gets to stab the guy. Yeah. And what's really cool about it is the Omni weapon changes depending on which class you are. So if you're a soldier, you saw the one Omni Blade attack. If you want to play as a Sentinel, which is kind of a hybrid between uh, more of an adept or a guy who uses biotics and uh, engineer, you get kind of dual Omni Blades. You get to like double stab people. Um, and, and you know, engineer class, if you're showing back there, you get to do this cool backhand fiery Omni Blade weapon. So really it's kind of cool. We've kind of changed it, made it kind of unique to people. So they really get to feel like, you know, again, it, their choices matter. And you can see some inflatable Omni Blades in the crowd well, there. For those of you, for those who haven't played Mass Effect, how is biotics work? So biotics are simply, it's kind of, uh, in the simplest explanation, it's sort of our form of magic. So it's basically what it is, is you're sort of um, altering the, the mass effect field. So you're really kind of harvesting the power of, you know, the mass effect fields and whatnot. You get to do things like you can, you know, throw enemies or you can kind of encase them in a, in a biotic, you know, energy field or, you know, all these different sorts of, of weapons and abilities. You know, there's different races that kind of specialize more in their abilities to be in tune with biotics and whatnot. So it's kind of like our, it's where more of the, the fiction of the science fiction sort of plays yeah. into it. Oh, that's really interesting, man. Now, how, 
is the tactical aspect of the game going to be in? So one of the cool things about Mass Effect 3 is the fact that not only do you get to determine how you lead the game in terms of like how you navigate the story and whatnot, but also now how you play it as well. So what we've done is we've amped kind of really over-indexed on the combat system to make it so that you can play this game in numerous different ways. So if you're someone who likes to play kind of up close and personal, we've you know you can go in there with shotguns, we've added kind of comboing of melee attacks now, you got the Omni Blade. If you want to play this as a cover base shooter, you can do things like kind of do combat rolls in and out of cover, you can roll from cover to cover, you can do things like SWAT turns, really kind of making it feel more of a cover base shooter for those kinds of fans and for the tactical fans. We're, we've actually released a recent trailer which we call the Squad Leader, which shows you some of the different tactical abilities. So you can anytime you can pause the game, a wheel comes up, you can kind of direct traffic, you can tell your squad mates specifically where you want them to attack. You can issue commands on the fly. Any of the commands you can map to your controller, whether it's an Xbox or a PS3 or your keyboard on PC. And you can just kind of you know, fully go out there. You can tell your squad what to do. You can fire. There's certain enemies in the game now where you're going to have to be tactical. So um, Cerberus, which is this anti-alien terrorist organization, is one of the key uh, enemies in the game. And uh, they have these new enemies called the Guardians. They have these big shields in front of them. And you can't attack them head on because you got these big shields, right? So what you need to do is you gotta kind of organize your troops, put them, in, you know, organize your squad mates so that you can either set up flanks or you can kind of be ready, you know, looking through the barrel, ready to fire. You tell your squad mate to, you know, fire a biotic ability or whatnot, knock them off balance, and then you can peg them with your submachine gun and whatnot. Dude, I love that. I, I love that aspect of the game, and I'm really looking forward to playing this game. I want to thank David for this interview. Absolutely. And I'm looking very forward to playing. Sweet. The game comes out on March 6th in America, March 8th in Germany, and March 9th in the rest of Europe. All right.